Yo, what is up guys? So in this video, we're going to be talking about crafting and I'm going to be putting this in the beginning because I totally forgot that I did not actually show you guys how to unlock crafting. I talk about pretty much everything else besides that. So in order to unlock crafting, you actually have to gain Dr. Zahidi into your team. And by doing that, you actually have to do the like the main story quest. Once you get into contact with Dr. Zahidi, he'll tell you that he needs to get to a tower. Can just finish that quest step and he is able to get into your team once he, in, he once, once he is in your team that's pretty much it just go talk to him as i am doing right now and it's gonna say i need to upgrade my gear just press e or whatever you are on and then that's pretty much it so yeah i totally didn't see that i didn't you know show you guys how to do that i just immediately went to the crafting so now it's gonna be me actually explaining the crafting so i will see you guys later i decided to make this video mostly because i want to show you guys how to actually craft because it's really really cool oh my god so if you've played any like looter shooter anything like that then you guys will know that like armor pieces armor pieces armor pieces have certain like power uh abilities perks stuff like that this game is no exception. The beautiful thing though is this armor piece right here, I can change literally everything. To the level, to the armor, to the anomaly power, healing received, everything. So let's look at that real quick. Improved rarity, so obviously this is gonna improve it to a purple, which gives you another ability node, which is really cool. Not only that, but it also increases your armor as well. This is gonna be something like, let's say I really like the exosuit uh, set. Like, let's say I just really like it and I wanna like take it with me. Then this is gonna be something I'm gonna be using for to turn it into a purple so that way I can actually use it in end game stuff. But also raise attributes. This is gonna be the thing that you can actually raise your anomaly power or your healing received. Again, this, you can change whatever you want from that. The mod gear, this is where it gets really cool. You can actually change what armor uh, perks you have so let's let's say I want to have apply shield I can do that for 77 leather uh, if you want to get to the tiers two and three you obviously have to unlock them in order to unlock these perks you actually have to get an armor set that has that perk so let's say I unlock this one right here I don't know what it's called but I unlock it because I have another gear for it it's just gonna immediately lock unlock it for me I don't have to like dismantle it or anything it's just gonna pop up right there on my library it's really cool especially if you want to keep that armor set and let's say you just want to add this to this one to have two for some reason you can do that it's really cool the only thing i haven't seen is this one but this is more for weapons if i'm remember yeah so it's more for you can make it a fully auto again this is really cool just because the amount of shit you can do with this is pretty wild like narrow i don't even know what narrow means like this is the thing that i really love about this game is the fact that there's just so much things that you can change when it comes to crafting again this one uh bumps up your your armor to another level so your current level let's see if i have anything from lower levels yeah so level nine it would bump it up to level 10 so i'm guessing it goes one level per that might not be good for something that you have that that's really low but again if you like something that much i you wouldn't i would do it for sure if there was something i'd like that much and it's really cool because you can basically like if you guys haven't seen my videos this is how my how, this is how my outrider looks right now mostly because i really like how the i had all the armor set and it looks cool to me so i decided fuck it i'm just gonna use this armor set and beforehand the stats on it not the stats, the mods on it were completely different, but I actually changed all of them to suit my playstyle. And this is this is like what I want to really nail home is the fact that you can do this on blue armor. The fact that blue armor is more useful to you than blue armor in Destiny 1 or Destiny 2, I mean. E even to a certain extent, the blue armor in this game is more useful than purple armor. It's really wild in purple armor in destiny 2 i mean it's really wild that they give us so much customizing options 
for essentially blue gear even 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 green gear bro even green stuff you can immediately improve it to blue and just have blue stuff that you can wear you can raise its attributes as well bro like if you get if you get a green helmet that you're just like yo that's really cool like skills le life leech cool bonus firepower oh shit cool then you can just improve it right here and then actually let's do that and then i can select the mod obviously it doesn't really matter because i can just do whichever one i want and then i can improve this item i don't want to do that because i only have 50 but it's wild that i'm allowed to do that and now i can just change whatever i want like let's say i want to do the one where it gives me where is it oh wait does does he have it on right now no it doesn't Oh, one of my one of my armor pieces has it. So let's just put this one. Do that. It's immediately changed already. A level up. I can current wearable max level, which is cool. Like it's there's just so much to the crafting in this game. I highly recommend you just look into it. Uh, if you're trying to mid max, then this is probably not going to be something you're going to want to do anytime soon. Mostly because you are wasting resources. But for me, I'm going to be playing this game a ton. And if I want to look cool, it's def I'm definitely going to go out of my way to do it because I am just that type of asshole. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Again, this crafting system is completely fucking awesome. I am such a fan of it. I would love to see this in other games, not just Destiny 2, but other looter shooters. The fact that I can literally change everything in this, even if I remember correctly, this game does have transmog. So even the armor itself, I can change. You can change almost everything and it's fucking wild. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys have any, have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. I'm loving this game right now. I'm de definitely going to be doing content for this because, again, this game is just so fucking good. So be safe, guys. No tapping the world, and I'll see you guys later.